Hey guys, it's me, man. I should bring guys some more Pokemon White Nuzlocke. In our last episode, we defeated the Opelucid Gym Leader, and today we are going towards Route 10 and the Pokemon League. So, without further ado, let's go. But before that, I forgot to heal up, so I will be right back. So, guys, I am right back, and sorry about that, I forgot to heal up before the, this episode starts, but whatever. Anyway, let's go inside Route of Blah Blah Blah, Route 10. Hey, hi. I heard, I just heard this on the trap, extra cross transceiver. There's a big trap, there's a big storm on Route 7, and the storm seems to, to be different from Nashville for one one. So strange. So, this basically tells us to go to Route 7, even though I don't necessarily need to. It basically activates an event where you can catch uh, one of the legendary Pokemon in this game. But uh, here we are at Route 10, and uh, this is where we can catch a new Pokemon. Um, yeah, there's a bunch of things over there. I'm not going to bother. I actually want to catch my Pokemon um, later down the line, because uh, there's actually you know, um, other grass over there. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to catch really cool Pokemon. Uh, there's there's a lot of Pokemon here. There's like Bufalons and stuff like that. Bufalons, very good Pokemon, very good normal type. Um, unfortunately, it is kind of... Um, it, as a special attacker, as an attacker, I swear to god, if it was in Gen 1, it'd be the best Pokemon ever, but right now, it's pretty shitty, so, uh, it's not very useful, uh, Scary Face, that's nice of you, lower my speed, even though you're faster than me, um, lower you, and, uh, hopefully next turn we're gonna go for the, uh, Hex, and kill you off, face still off, um, stuff last episode, so definitely go check that out, um, I'm actually recording this after the last episode, so my memory is fresh in my brain and that did nothing, wow. Uh, let's go for another hex and hopefully we'll be able to do a bit more damage and hopefully try and kill this Crafty, this hoodlum over here, the hoodlum Pokemon. Oh my god man, that moment where you just have the smidgens of smidgens, but luckily he doesn't attack us this turn but he actually goes for the scary face. But yeah, that's nice of you, thanks. Thanks for being on my side. Uh, my few, my few, my few, my, my, okay, whatever. Me and food, that's what you mean. Uh, let's go into Gamagori, why not? I've looked, I have a bunch of slow Pokemon on my team. Uh, the only, the final Pokemon on my team is actually my Crocodile, uh, Shades. Uh, kind of stupid, but whatever. We'll go for Heat Crash, and, uh, that, wow, that, wow, that's actually faster than me, okay. But Gamagori, uh, face it against another Pokemon, it will easily be, uh, kicked out. It's, it's easy. It's as really easy as that. But, um, uh, what else is there? Um, nothing really else. Okay, um, I can switch. Uh, um, put. I'm gonna put face at the, at the end, and then, uh, I'm gonna show you the middle. Um, what is it there? Actually, considering what we're, what we're going to do and, and that what we're going to do with special Pokemon, I might want to switch out the team, but too late now because we're already in a battle and it's a fracture. Um, let's see if we can outspeed it. If we don't, okay. If we do, that would be awesome. Okay, we don't. But hopefully we won't die from this. Yep, we take about half damage. It's great. Uh, the level variant uh, very helps uh, having a high level at this stage. Um, usually, I'm, I'm usually about, um, level, I'm, I'm usually around the, like, level 50, 42 around here, uh, the Elite 4 is actually much higher level than, that, than uh, um, later on, so, oh wow, I missed, I missed, okay, uh, we'll go for Swagger and then we'll go for Fire Play on the next turn, deadly combo that, um, Electrike. A Pokemon that can only learn, it doesn't even learn, it can kind of lose really. Um, its evolution is much, much better. Um, Exogor, Exogor is a bug type, so in comes Damagori to burn this fast ass bug type to the ground. Ninjas, ninjas, I love ninjas. Me first, gonna go for Flame Flurry himself, doesn't matter. Luckily, I'm not very effective. Uh, I'm sure if I switch, if I use Dragon Claw there, uh, with my, um, if, I'm sure if I use Dragon Claw with Dread, uh, I would, I would have easily died, but whatever. Hi. 
Um, I like to battle you, please. Um, yeah. Veteran Carla. Maractus is your Pokemon. Um, I'm just gonna switch. And are we going to go into Gamagoria? Yes, yes. Of course, Gamagoria. Perfect Pokemon. When you're tired, you just tend to lose from the bridge. Mm -hmm. I had a very hot day. My leg, my leg is dead. And I'm recording. Yay. Um, alum, 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 alum. um, what should I switch into? Um, Gus is probably best. Uh, Loma Mola, very good defense Pokemon, high HP. Uh, so Giga Drain, probably won't. Okay, diving. Diving is like the water type dig, but not very useful because that was much better than things out there. Um, and uh, Aqua Ring, what a waste of a move. Should at least try to attack me. Uh, maybe? Hmm? Okay, whatever. Uh, Cryogonal Ice type. Uh, why did I not switch out? I don't know why. Um, oh, I'm pressing the wrong button. That's fine. Uh, I don't know. Let's switch in Gig Tracks. We haven't seen Gig Tracks in the house, so. Come on up, Gig Tracks. Boom. Ice Beam. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Okay. Flash Cannon. Ah, oh, shit, please. Don't. Fuck. That didn't kill me. Ah. Oh, I did not want to use Gig Tracks to a fucking Dragonal. That is the one thing that I did not want to do. Oh, man. These veterans, man. They're good. Tough guys. Of course, the veterans. Of course, they're tough. It's a nice challenge. Um, I do believe. Uh, oh yes, of course. It's Charon and Bianca. Hi. Drayden and Professor Juniper told me you're heading for the Pokemon League, right? Yes. Since it's since it's Adler, since since it's the champion, I think it will be all right. Worst case scenario, you'll be battling Team Panama Boss N. I need to know if you can handle it. Okay, that's nice. You're just gonna bow me and uh, with no. Okay, that's nice. But uh, I believe this is like one of the last battles you have with Charon. You can't battle him um, after the game is done and he will have a full team of subs and uh, you will have to find him. But, um, yeah. Before, I thought I would have a bit of a break, but I guess I'll feel like. Anyway, uh, Ultras is, is his first Pokemon, so I'm gonna switch into Gig Tracks here, and uh, I'm gonna go for the um, Rock Slide to kill off this Ultras right now. Uh, no problem, Razor Wind, uh, Normal Type Move won't do that much damage to me, considering that I um, resist Normal Type Moves. Uh, it's very powerful. Um, it actually kind of shocked me that um, Cannon Flame's first form evolution. Um, I actually learned Razor Wind pretty early. It was a big powerful move. It learns Razor Wind pretty early in its um, moveset. Uh, I don't know why. Well, Razor Wind isn't that very useful because it needs a turn to set up and uh, it's not very that powerful uh, compared to other moves of, of its nature. Um, Sunrot is not both of us about to come out. And um, being a dual, being a water type, um, Gus should be able to do with it. No problem. Sandrock. No. Uh, Eager Drain. Great. Anchor. Why? Boss is just attacking. No ice beam. Come on, super. Yeah, you have. You have leftovers? What? Really? Leftovers? I did not know that. Oh, okay. It's probably because when I when I do battle this guy, I usually like one hit KO all of his Pokemon with my Pokemon. But I never really get to see shit like that, but I never knew he had um I never knew he had leftovers in some way. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Uh Simus is coming out next. Uh Shade, come on now. Why not? Why not? Come on, Shade. You need to get out of the shade into the sunlight. Because here comes Simister and he's gonna burn your face off. 
So before you do, so before he does that, and dig into the ground, and then poke him in the butt. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, anyway, go for the dig. All my Pokemon are very slow. It's kind of saddening, actually. Oh, none of my Pokemon are actually kind of fast. Man, I am tired. I don't know why. Shouldn't be this tired. Whatever. Um, Lipod, Lipod is coming out. I'm um, just actually switch. I'm going to jump Gory. Perfect Pokemon for this kind of situation. Um. And uh, this is his last Pokemon. Okay. Should have gone for Fake Out or something, but. No, nope. he knows he's gonna die, so... Bye bye goes the life heart. To lose a Pokemon at this point would probably be the worst, worst thing ever. I'm just saying it now because it would probably be a bad idea, but... Before, um... We get to battle Bianca... Oh, she does battle, I see I don't, I don't care. Oh, she gives us a max revive. That's very kind of her. Thank you. No, oh, you're so nice. We have changed a lot. We found out that the things we want to do and the things we can do are different from each other, right? That's just what what what's made our journey worth it. Somehow, all all this makes just makes me happy. So that's what you mean. You were right that we're all different and we should do things that we can do. There are, uh, there are as many truths and ideals out there as there are Pokemon. The most thing is is that we help one each other, one one another out. That's why people in Pokemon are always by each other's side. That's what I've come to think lately. Ryoko, if if anything happens between you and happens to your Adler, I'll do anything, I everything I can to help you. That's why I have to keep training and getting stronger. That just don't be rested, reckless, okay? He's gone. Me too. I'll do my best to help you if I can. So, um, I wish I could say something like totally inspiring, you know? Um, okay, best foot forward. Bye, Bianca. See you at the top. Anyway, um, let's go into the grass to see if we catch any Pokemon. And our first Pokemon is going to be a double battle. I don't know what to do in this section. Ah oh, man, when it's a double battle, but I guess I have to choose one. Um, out of the two. Um, I don't know what happens when... I don't know what the rules are. Uh, I guess you have to choose one, and uh... I guess, because I already have a fighting type, I'm gonna get rid of this four and actually catch it in Hedder the first time. Um, Hedderia. And uh, we're just gonna kill it. Uh, crunch, crunch, that's nice if you'll crunch me how much you want. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, Giga Drain. Nom 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 nom. Whoa. Circle Flow is actually kind of powerful because um, not only does it do, do, do damage, but it also sends you out. Kind of powerful. But in comes the intimidating shades. Uh, let's just go for far play, why not? And uh, we go for the top pick on the character. Okay. That should do it, and uh, we should be able to catch it with the balls. Uh, hopefully. Retaliate, no problem, toxic. Nom, nom, nom. And uh, we'll try a Pokeball this turn. Um, uh, considering. Oh, why not? Pick balls in this something like that. Okay, so that didn't work. Ow, that hurt. Um, let's actually switch out um, to face. Face is actually a great Pokemon in this case. Uh, instead of going for Gaijin, we'll actually go for the uh, clear smoke. Considering that he's the uh, weakest move in our uh, Alright, uh, Toxic is doing its work, so... Uh, now we should go for possibly a not a master ball, master ball probably the worst idea I've ever done. 
go for that ultra ball and oh my god man that is ridiculous and that's that so if i don't catch it with this ball it's pretty much over so we'll just go for another ultra ball if i don't catch it it's over okay so it's over okay bye bye header nice meeting you and i and there goes my um there goes my capture for the for this area kind of unfortunate but whatever uh you can actually catch a uh, braviary in this area i keep believe very useful um very useful fire exploring type much better than infrazin in my opinion but very late into the game and you're probably using your infrazin right now so there's no real point in switching it uh yeah, move Pokemon on that side. I do believe you can watch the movies. Uh, yeah, bye. I don't want to talk to you, so bye bye. Anyway, uh, another Pokemon. Holy mother of mercy. That's ridiculous, man. Bye. Okay, so bow. Your hobby is to beat trainers. That's fine. Uh, suck, 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 suck. Uh, Dragon Claw should be the best idea. Ow! Critical hit! Damn, calm down, man. That's not even nice. No, we'll go into phase and then we'll go for Brick Break now. That doesn't affect me, so Shadow Ball. Yay! I'll cut. Buck yourself up, man. Buck up. Get yeah, buff. Um, what next? Healing is obviously next, but then picking one of those two Pokeballs and I do believe that one of them isn't working, so I'm gonna check it out. Yeah, hyper potion and uh, guessing what? Oh, you're another item. That's great. All right, two items. Awesome. Hi, let's battle. Mr. Rock Climber Brett. Hiker Brett. Okay. You gotta go there. Go there. Uh, we're gonna go for Dragon Claw, of course. And uh, kill a one hit. Maybe not? Okay, that's nice. Okay, that, that's okay. That's fine. We'll just go for Chip Away and next time. And, uh, hit it. Yeah. Gain that level like it is your destiny. Uh, move on to Holder. Holder. Uh, we're just gonna go into shades and uh, gotta take me at least two hits to kill this thing. I'm gonna go swagger and then we'll go for the power play in the next turn. And uh, hopefully, he hits himself so he can break the steady. Yeah. Uh, bye bye goes steady, so now we can go for the power play and kill him one hit. Alright, so okay, so this game doesn't listen to me. I said kill him one hit, but nope. This is gonna live with that little smidge of HP. But does matter anyway. Um next battle over here. Okay, no. You're going to give me a dusk stone. That's nice. So we got dark stone and a dusk stone. That's great. So we can use that to evolve lampings. Even though we don't even have one. And we get the TM05 raw. I think I was talking about that in the last episode. Um so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, there's some items over there, so let's go and get them. Uh, full heal, and I do believe that these two are actually Pokemon. Yeah, and a Moongus, probably. Um, but you can't. Yeah, it's a Fungus, so that's nice. Alright, uh, it's a small. It's small. And another Fungus. Anyway, I think that's it for this area, um, on this side at least, and uh, across the bridge and down the way is another area where... Hi! Anyway, um... Soul's back. Soul's back is okay, but Dread is kinda of better, so... We'll go for the Dragon Claw. Aromatherapy, what are you trying to do, man? 
Aromatherapy only helps when you're freaking... At least try to attack me. You're not even bothering. You're just gonna stand there and just gonna go for the aromatherapy twice in one turn. What a complete waste of time. Uh, we'll go for crunch one more time and uh, hopefully kill this Jessen. Jessen are very good def defensively and especially defensively, so. Yeah, I like Jettison. Jettison is a pretty nice Pokemon. It was a Pokemon that I never really expected to like, but, you know, I ended up liking it eventually. Uh, I like how they're, like, different. Um, they look different depending on the gender. Like, the male one will be blue and the um, female one will be pink. We'll wear lipstick. Then here comes the Wang with the massive... Here comes Betic with his massive um, hair, pubic hair down there. Man, pubic hair is freak, freaking huge. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, let's go into let's go into uh, Demogory because uh, Ice Type is of course coming. Ice Crash, of course, I would not want to be taking that with a Dragon type. So Brick Break, bye bye goes to Betic, and uh, yeah. Uh, next Pokemon, Seismitoad. Great Pokemon switch in here would be tough, considering that Seismitoad is both uh, ground and water and is only weak to grass type moves. Of course, it does the Earthquake. Uh, when I used Seismitoad the first time, um, Seismitoad does not learn Earthquake naturally. You have to give it a TM for it to learn Earthquake and um, couldn't get Earthquake on it until um, I didn't get an earthquake on it until I could get a TM, which is way after the game had been finished. So I might as well have just gotten another ground type because pretty useful. I uh, pretty useless. I had bulldoze in the Pokemon for like, the longest time. Ridiculous. But uh, here we are at the uh, entrance to the Vignima Baba. Uh, let's go in, considering that we have about 10 minutes until 30 minutes. Uh, I kind of want this to be for at least 30 minutes long. Halt! Un un unqualified ones shall not pass. The key to open this closed gate is the trio badge. Okay, so we got the trio badge. Oh, holder of the trio badge. Challenger, challenge all that you face. Thank you for your words of encouragement. I like I like this area, like the different kind of gates. Um, okay, so we use the be basic badge to open these gates very very ominous and i do believe you can catch pokemon in this area on this this is a kind of different area i'm not i'm not sure whatever i don't care um i don't care at this point because uh, i got the pokemon to spare i'm not really worried uh, about um anything interesting but yeah the key to open this gate is the mod badge and we got that i remember that battle very interesting I was actually um, scared of that battle because honestly, it was, I felt it was the hardest gym out out of any of them. I get a place at the border of every one, every of one space and another space. In other words, gates mean that the world beyond here is a different world. It does feel like every time you pass through a gate, you're going to a different world, and you remember the gym leader who gave the bad, who gave you the badge at the same time. But without the crate pad, you cannot proceed. Uh, good thing I've got it, huh? I remember that battle. It was actually pretty tough. It was actually pretty tough uh, compared to what I thought was the uh, hardest battle in the game, which was the battle against Elise uh, for the bolt pad. But here comes the jet pads. That was actually one of the easier bolt, any easier battles. Even though I didn't even have an electric type at the point, but uh, considering that I had a rock type. Uh, made it all the different made made all the difference. But, uh, thanks. But uh, here we get a little bit of an ice puzzle. Not really that hard to really um, uh, fix up. But uh, we got the legend badge, so this is the last badge we need to go here. I am a truly a legend. And here we are, guys. The start of the Pokemon League Victory Road, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, the road to victory is starting. And it's going to start in the next episode. 
So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. And until next time, this has been Main Man Action. Signing out. Peace.